<laughs> Welcome to the Taped Podcast. We are your hosts, myself, Michael. I'm David. I'm Louis. And I'm Miho. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, so, okay. in this podcast, what we're going to be doing for majority of the episodes, we're just going to be covering music that comes out whenever, mainly about four albums a week, probably. But this... This one at the moment is just getting to know us all as people and what we're interested are in music. So first, let's just start it off. Like what what what's our favorite like kind of music to listen to right now? Uh anyone can play guitar, live at the beach house, nineteen ninety seven two. I don't know, I can't remember. Three. I don't care. Yeah, that one, yeah, that's a good song. Uh, my yeah, favorite I fact. Uh uh no. Uh in all seriousness, I don't know. Like what are we saying here? Like favorite, bands? like favorite genres, bands, oh, Jesus. like uh, genres are bro- broad, but like mm. I like rock <laughs> <laughs> in general. I like Queens of the Stone Age. I like news. I'm a massive fan of Radiohead. Uh, uh, I'm quite partial to a bit of uh, country roads, almost ever country classics. How about you, uh, Michal? How about you? Hello, hello, hello. Um, mostly rock too. Um, I like I like me some pop. I like me some rap. Like I like me some anything. I like Black. I like me some Friday by Rebecca Black. I like me some anything. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite. David. Yeah. David, David. <laughs> sure, I, 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 my whole thing just fucking blanked out. Um, yeah, probably rock as well, mostly kind of like indie or alternative. If you want to be gay about it. God, we're so interesting. Wow. All right, All right. For the most part, I'm a big rap fan, but lately I've been branching out into other genres like metal, rock, alternative kinds of stuff, and uh, pirate metal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> may, maybe. Furries. Uh, Pablo Honey, uh, yeah. metal nightcore. Yeah. Like oh, some yeah. of my, f- like some of my favorite rappers, probably be like right now, maybe Danny Brown, Denzel Curry, Kendrick Lamar, all those mm. kinds of people. But some of my favorite bands, like from what I've been listening to for the past few months, maybe like a lot of Metallica, Radiohead. Like I'm gonna be branching out into more anyway, so I'll probably have more, more taste, you could say, by then. I I hear you're a a world famous uh, YouTuber. Or something like that. I, I, oh, oh I, yes, I yes. yes, yes, I yes. Video. I do indeed have a do you YouTube want to plug channel. That right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, forward slash forward slash. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Uh, I have everything uh, in description. We don't have to worry about that. Right yeah, now. yeah. My channel will be in the description. <laughs> All right. I've got nothing to link, but my Pornhub. If you want that, I and mean, go ahead. Apart from that, uh, no. Now, knock yourself out. He's got some great content. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> should should we go right. over the in detail the content we'll be doing? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, um, for the well, for the first official podcast, we're just going to be doing uh, just a worst to best on Radiohead. So expect that whenever that goes up. And, That's um, really confident in when we're going to do the next one. Oh yeah, we're, we'll keep the schedule. Is, being we'll, we'll attempt. Next we'll yeah, attempt yeah. to do this every Sunday. Yeah, yes. and yeah, we'll attempt to do it every Sunday. So if you're interested, <laughs> yeah, if you're interested in staying tuned for that, please like consider like supporting us um, in any way you can. Yeah, do you donate to yeah. our Patreon. our Patreon's linked. Oh, Everything's yeah. linked. Yeah, yeah, this is a shame. you can. We have a fiver as well. If you pay us a fiver, we'll um, <laughs> talk do about HTML you. I'll do page for you. We'll review your app. Um, yeah, it'll be great. I can't promise anything, but it'll run. Okay, so, so right, essentially then, starting from. Well, when the new year commences, we're going to be going over a bunch of albums that come out each week. Preferably about four of four of them. Were I think we'll we'll do we'll do three new albums every week. Depends yeah, and, on how many come out because yeah, and, January uh, tends to be kind of slow for the and first the half. One maybe a classic album as well. Like yeah, I'm we'll get you know, once a week or whatever. We yep. we got like all of our favorites al- all of our favorite albums. We got the top albums on. Um, aggregate sites like Rate Your Music of the Year. We'll just be doing random classic album every week, and most weeks yeah. it'll be just us discussing new albums. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but from time to time, we'll 
Well, and if get experimental. And if there's been a bit of a slow week, we could come up with something else to do. Maybe another worst yeah. best or something like yeah, that. Yeah, stuff like that. No, of course, audio only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'd be down for that. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I suppose we should say how we know each other. Like, as in we're not just some fucking weird five strangers who just kind of decided to do some stupid podcast. I say five as if Craig is a member. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> now, <laughs> essentially, me, Michal, and Louis go to the same college. And we we're do doing the same HTML And I went to the same. Uh, yeah. Only. Exclusively. Um, yeah. Yeah, sick. and I went to secondary school yeah, with and we David were in a band. There's a connection. Yeah, yeah, we were in a Which band. Is more yeah. important. I don't know what's happening there now. We're across but the country. Uh, sounds rough. I haven't played drums in mm-hmm. about a year. Actually, well, uh, going around, what instruments do we actually play as well? I yeah. I used to play acoustic guitar, but I gave that up when I was like 15. I haven't so touched it since. Cool. Uh, I have a small piano, electric piano I play, I guess, and I have an electric guitar. Uh, I don't want to name the brand because I'll be uh, shilled and killed for having such a terrible guitar. Uh, it's it's not Fender. That's that's all you need to know. It's okay. Uh, what about uh, you, David? Me? I play a acoustic and electric guitar i guess and i own a piano but i wouldn't claim to know how to play it but that will change in the future yeah and i i play drums and i also dabble in piano i have like a 1000 euro electric piano that i play once every five months price necessary (laughs) mine's like 235 quid yeah it's yeah (laughs) it's weird flex but i paid a grand for a piano yeah, I played a grand. Yeah, that I rarely play. Before. But I'll, I'll get there. One day I'll play. No, you yeah, fucking won't. Shut up. One day I'll pull off some okay. fucking Beethoven shit and you'll. Yeah, okay. Believe that one. You'll I'll be on your knees. Yeah. I'll be on my knees. You're like, okay, that's a bit gay, Michael. Michal. Okay. Yeah. What are we. Is there anything else we have to bring up? <laughs> I hope so. Cause it's going to be a fucking short. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> no, we can just talk. We can just I, go I, on about music. I own guitar. That's, that's as best far as we've come. Uh, um, we can go on a tangent about music. Okay, that's how this works. <laughs> so we can what? Sorry. What about our favorite albums? We haven't talked about. Uh, okay, Grant. Uh, who wants to go first? All right. First off, let's talk about favorite album of the decade. How about that? Just decade. Like, okay. Just sure. Just get it kicked off. My favorite album of the decade, to to pimp a butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. Mm. Um, yeah. Really? Opinion, no. Um, you're oh, close-minded. Uh, you're close-minded, young man. From water. Um, <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I'd say I, I don't know. Of the decade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It either have to be. Plastic Beach, it does count. It was 2010. Yeah, it counts. Yeah, it doesn't count. And Moonshade Pool, uh, of course. Because they're smooth. both. It's, it's the best thing really that came out with this decade. Uh, it's the only thing they come out. Oh, sorry. No, no, no I like. No. Uh, King of Limbs. The, the King of Limbs, the best album. Oh, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, fuck off. Nah, I will still hold it. Um, for me, it's. Uh, car seat headrests, twin fantasy. You were gonna say car seat headrests. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> car seat man. <laughs> David. Um, I probably have to think about it, but I've probably listened to "Birthday" by Pom Poco or Pom I don't know how you pronounce it. The most, but I would definitely. All decade. That if I, I, yeah, I guess, yeah. That came like, out like four months, a few ago. months ago. Yeah. Impressive. Uh, it's the decade. Strong contender. <laughs> Um, well, here's, here's... we can we can go over our albums of the year. Yeah, I, we could. You see, well, there's a problem. Thing is, I, I forget. I've listened to about, I've, I've about oh. two albums from this year. This year, uh, <laughs> Michael, so... I don't actually. On your okay. album of the year, you've given ten 
No, you've given four ten out of tens. So I I, I want to know how you would rank those. What are they again? All right, we had uh, Kiwanuka by Michael Kiwanuka, uh, Titanic Rising by Waste Blood, uh, All My Heroes Are Corn Balls by JPEG Mafia, and Schlagenheim by Black Midi. Like <laughs> I actually forgot. All right, what, what's saying, what's your album of the year? My album of the year is uh, Schlagenheim. Woo! It's it's such a it's such a good album. It's such a good album. Um, it, you know, I kind of forgot that album was a thing. There, like as in it came out this. It came out, uh, yeah. Yeah. It came out I, the well, the summer, didn't it? Yeah. Summer, yeah. June, well, I think. I, I could be forgot. Uh, yeah, I put that down then. That's what I'd say. Probably. Definitely. David, and fan. and I'm assuming yours is Pompoko. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, well what about of all time? Oh, okay now, calm down. Ooh, uh, of all time. <laughs> of all that's what, time. That's what the question was in the first say, favorite album. Of all I'd time, say we do the next something. decade, the one before that. So the two thousands. Like, we do the yeah, 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 yeah. The two thousands. Oh, okay. It's a little all right. To Hold up. Compress it. I'd say. Hold up. Bruh, I'll open up my rate your music. I can't yeah. even I'll have to check my album of the year for this shit because I don't know. Two thousand. What? Oh, easy, easy. It's so Kid easy. A. Kid yeah. A. When you think Kid A it, came it, out in 2000. It could be any of them. Kid A, Hails of the Thief, fucking Absolution by Muse. Uh, it's Kid A, like it's Kid A, it's just Kid A. It's not just Kid A. It's not just Kid A. There's but there's no... That came out at the time that were equally as fucking good. Let's be no, honest. No, no. Best album no. of the 2000s. Lateralis, come on. No, be, best, best album of the 2000s is Mad Villainy. Mm. That's off there, that's top 10. <laughs> Mad Villain, Mad Villain. MF Doom and Mad, Mad Villain. Villain. Maybe I don't know. David, it's it's, it's Any such input? a good album, dude. Or 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 Toxicity by System of a Down. Uh, oh, I mean, it's fucking very good. Yes. Mm. Yes. I would call it. I would call it of the decade. Why? Two thousand. And a, and a oh, close like favorite place for me is probably in Rainbows. For me, the only nice. thing that would really uh, compete against um, Kid A is Death Consciousness by Have a Nice Life. Maybe I'm Modest Mouse, not, The Moon in Antarctica. Modest, modest Man. <laughs> modest Man. <laughs> modest <laughs> Man loves his way. Yeah. Um, um, Alright, favorite 3, album of all time? Anybody? No, no, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> are we going 90s? Is this what we're doing? <laughs> 90s, uh, we yeah. can go. We can, we can go uh, back. Did somebody say selected ambient works? Fuck yeah! Which one? Which one? Which one? There's uh, two. The first one. The first. Okay, one. good. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, David. Peace. Uh, greatness. Uh, that and probably, well, okay, computer. Of course. Computer, yeah. For me, uh, probably be between Illmatic or okay, computer. Okay, computer. Well, okay, okay, like Nick. '90s is my favorite decade, so. There's so much. There's in. Apex Twin, Selected Ambient Works. There's um, to to OK to Computer, Apex. of course. There's uh, Neutral Milk Hotel sorry. in the airplane over the sea. Never listened to that. My favorite. Are, are we going? Um, are we going eighties? Anybody any chance? Yeah. Oh, I think we're going, I think yeah. this is what we're doing. Can I Remember put a shout out well. to, to my favorite I album of the nineties? Favorite album, my bloody Valentine, Loveless. My what? Say that again. My favorite nineties album. My, my bloody Valentine, loveless. Ugh, nah, no, I I hate that. Ah, fuck off. Ah, fuck off. Fuck, yeah, fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. Um, eighties. <laughs> uh, okay. Eighties. I'll go. I'll go uh, first. Queen is dead. Time. No, I'll go first. Yeah. Queen is dead. Let's. All right, all right, Michal. Go ahead. I re- the Queen is dead. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, good. By the Smiths. Mm. Yes. I no, yeah. not by the Smiths. No. No, yeah, by... I'm, I'm just being sure. I still have yet to listen to it. <laughs> George Michael. <laughs> it's right. like Joy Division. Joy Division. All right, David. My... You haven't had input in a while. What's your favorite '80s album? Um, you're putting me under. I have no fucking idea what year things come out. I'm like frantically searching through my stuff. Um, it's okay. Shit. Take your time. No, I can't. No, don't. Everyone go. Like speed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Get Louis and Michael out of the way, and then we'll move on. All right, my my favorite album of the eighties, Master of Puppets, Metallica. Fair enough. 
wouldn't wouldn't be I, I I like Metallica, but like they're just a bit all the songs kind of say me. I know that's very controversial. I'm not bullied for that, that but Yeah, uh, because it's all boxed into one genre. What do you expect? Yeah, but it's I don't know. American rock just doesn't really do it for me that much. I don't like it incredibly well. Well, well I like Metallica. So um, I like I can't even think of I, I am having the same problem where I can't remember anything that came from the eighties. <laughs> that I'm literally it? on my rate your music like scrolling like, year by year. I genuinely cannot find a single song from the eighties that I listened to in the past like year. Um, that's fucking crazy. Um, well, I'm blanking as to what else I, came out. I, I can't fucking think. Uh, um, so <laughs> so, I'm just scrolling uh, through my ten out of ten. Joy Division's closer came out in 1980. All that... oh, right. Um, that's uh, that's up there for me. That, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Oh know. fuck! Fucking. What's I'm the... just blanking. Uh, yeah, I'm blank as well. What's the song? Fucking... Ooh, ooh, do 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 the Stone Roses. Do 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 oh fuck! Wait, how did you hear? Huh? Did... 1989. Oh, Just about 1989. Whoa. Also, Do Little by the Pixies. Uh, 1989. Shit, sorry. Talking about oh, that's it. Wait, was that No, that was. Uh, Wait, it was Remain in Light 1980 as well. Say yeah. So. Oh, there we go. Remain in Light. Remain in Light. Should we, should uh, we move on to the seventies? <laughs> uh, I'm still trying. To... No, I, I have think, no. I can think of a few more. Uh, the Cure. I have... The I have Cure. The All right. Yeah. Head I have... in the door. Close to me being my favorite song off of that album. Fucking, it's good. Blue Order. The fuck. Blue Order. Oh yeah. Blue Order. Blue Order. <laughs> Blue Order. Shit. Blue uh, Order. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> Sorry. Blue Order. <laughs> 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 nice. No sleep till Brooklyn. On, from license to ill, Beastie Boys. That's good. All right, all right. We get, we get the point. I used to listen to Beastie Boys when I was a kid. Seventies. Seventies. Uh, Juice Priest, Stain oh. Class. Rush two one one two. No, I hate oh, Rush. I fucking hate Rush. What are you doing? I don't right? like Rush. Joy Division, Unknown Pleasures. Uh, yes. I, I <laughs> that up there. Just. Uh, what else? Uh, Judas Priest, any album that came from the 70s from them, fantastic. Uh, fucking, what's it called? Rumors, Fleetwood Mac. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, fucking Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, yeah. Was that Paranoid? 60s? Dude, I, no, of course, Pink Floyd were 60s? popping up in the yeah. 70s. No, 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 70s. No, that was 73. Yeah. The 60s, they released, it? No, it was oh, 73. They released, the only album they released in the 60s was their debut. What's it called? Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Shit. Uh, Everything else in the 70s. All the classics. Animals. <laughs> Dark Side of the Moon. The Wall. Um, I still have yet Wish to you were here. All of that is 70s. Oh, he's a fucking weirdo. Heaven and Hell. Uh, Black Sun. It came it out on the oh, yeah. uh, fucking Black Sabbath. Self titled. Sabbath. Bloody Sabbath as well. And Paranoid and Veterans. Reality. Self titled. I, I prefer <laughs> self titled. Some title has got some good tracks. I mean, well, I, NIB, NIB is a great track. You you can't disagree that Wizard is not fantastic. Just that fucking harmonica just makes it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of seventies. Um, I, th- I don't, I can't think of any. How can you else. not? Like there is fucking thousands as well. Sixties is going to be a hard one. Uh, a lot of good shit. I don't know how difficult it'd be. Um, can't think of anything we can move on to the next topic and I've, I've 60, an 60s come on 60s we're, we're going until we fucking reach the, Let's the middle say, well, I don't have I don't think I have any albums from the 60s that I, I know of what? Bob really? Dylan the free will and Bob Dylan like every I, have, I have not listened to Bob Dylan you're a, actually a strange person I know not listen to Bob Dylan. I know <laughs> the what? Doors the Doors yes the Beatles yeah like literally uh, all I don't them. like the Beatles Fuck off. Controversial no opinion. About your opinion. <laughs> what's, wrong, what's wrong with the Beatles, bud? They're, I just don't like their sound. I think they're overrated. That is just King me. Crimson. That is just me. King Crimson, yeah. yeah. But that was only their debut. Yeah, that must be good. Bob Dylan. There's like four right, good Bob Dylan. 60s, right? Nah. Yeah. Yeah, Led Zeppelin mm-hmm. 2 and 1. 
Oh yeah, yes. two. I think two is the best album actually. Uh, I think three is the best album, but two is really by just yeah, fucking love three. Everyone says two's, four. Two's good, but like there's a few that are a little bit less incredibly yeah. excellent as on three. Uh, even twelve years after hearing it first, I still can't get brown head. Uh, much to my, you know, happiness, this is fucking fantastic. Uh, the end, the doors, fucking debut. The album. Velvet Underground and Nico. That yeah, one. Pretty good. The Beach Boys. <laughs> Beach oh, Boys. Sounds boy. The Beach yeah. Boys. Bitch lads. <laughs> the Bitch Boys. <laughs> the bitch boys. <laughs> oh Jesus. fuck! Are you experienced? Jimi well, Hendrix. Experience. The Aminos. Oh no! The best there. Best. Best. And and the Electric Lady Man. Best artist of the 60s, fucking Charles Manson. Animalisms by the animals, of course. Yeah? <laughs> we all know that one. Yeah? <laughs> Credence Clear, um, Clearwater Revival. Quiz of Clearwater with the Bible. <laughs> We're not going off to 50s. I don't, th- I, on, don't I, think I, I don't know man. fuck all about the 50s. I can name one album that the I 50s. like from the 50s. Bing Crosby, Miles Davis, that's it. Kind of blue. Oh my god, Niles Navis. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Niles Navis, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 40s. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right, ending it there. Can, uh, we, can we move? Mike Mike oh Cam. god, no. Right, we're, mo- we're moving on to the next fucking topic. No, we have to, we have to pick the topic? favorite album of all time. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just we have to pick one. Order, my just favorite one. album of all time. Oh my god. Just one. Just one? Oh, cr- oh yeah. Christ. Fuck. Well, I'll have uh, to fucking see. Oh, it's tough. On the spot. There's no seeing. <sighs> Fuck it. No seeing on the spot. This is the pilot. This is about right. educating. Okay, okay. Fav- my favorite album of all time. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll just I'll just go with, with Mad Villain. All right. Oh. Respectable. Louis? <laughs> Understandable. Um, well, how about you, Mahal? What about you? Um, my <laughs> bloody Valentine, Loveless. Loveless. Right, you Loveless. Um, selected ambient works just for like its re-listenability, kind of. Fair enough. Oh, it's pretty good. Do you ever li- fucking fall asleep listening to Tha on repeat? <laughs> tha. A fucking mind ah. mind bending experience. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right, all right, Louis. Your um, album. Uh, it's <laughs> this may surprise you guys, but it's Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites EP by Skrillex. That's a fucking. EP. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kid, I kid. Uh, I don't know. I have to say, probably either Kid A, or oh fuck me, uh, fuck you. This is really difficult. Um, or you Absolution by Muse. Just... Okay, I, fair, I fucking, fair. I fucking love Absolution. <laughs> Fair enough. Though, if I felt self-entitled enough, I'd just put all of Radiohead, every Radiohead album, Barra, King of Limbs, and Pablo Honey, and they would be equally my favourites. Even forever. the Benz? Uh, what do you mean, even the Benz? The Benz even is the Benz? Yeah, the yeah, Benz is no, like the whole album. Fuck you. Fuck you. I, fuck you. Hey, no, <laughs> fuck you. Look, I'm done. Listen. 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 Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Even, I don't mean it in a bad way. Right? It's not top tier Radiohead though. Oh my god, you would spoil it. Now you can't, now you can't appreciate the, the Benz. It's top tier radio. It's I not experimental it, Radiohead. I, it's top tier. I, I love Radiohead, but I only to, uh, uh, the King of Labour remix album because I'm really uh, uh, high level with the Radioheads. Piss off. I love Radiohead, but if I can identify every single instrument I hear, it's not good enough. <laughs> I have to, I have to be unsure at about at least fifty percent of them. I have Sounds trouble like understanding the themes of the bends. Is <laughs> <laughs> an iron lung. Um, okay. Okay. Is that what what it... everyone said their thing of the decade then? De- of the... Or what, of the of the all time? We already. We already. What about well, well, well? What about our favorite song? Oh fucking time. hell! <laughs> no, that's too that's tough. Really no, good. it's not too tough. We're do going. It. We're doing I this. Do it. I could try. Um, I I ju- I just can't, dude. We're not gonna. Oh. Fuck it. This, this decision isn't gonna haunt us for the rest of our lives. Just it pick is. one. So move on. Fine, fine. <laughs> she, she changes with opinions. Fair enough. 
Uh, it, yeah, it, it'll change, but know. right now. All right, right fine. Now, at the moment. Fucking. I can start. Go ahead. You start. Smashing Pumpkins, 1979. <laughs> Billy Corrigan. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Chem Trails. Hey, hey. Um, um, at the moment, uh, I'd have to say, fuck you, it's so difficult. Um, Minecraft volume alpha. <laughs> C418 Sweden. Uh, no, probably Unfinished Symphony, uh, Massive Attack at the moment. I've just been listening to a lot of that. Uh, I don't know if anyone else even knows that song. No. You know, no. I know. Or Massive Attack. <laughs> that matter. I've listened to one Massive Attack album, Mezzanine. That's it. I haven't even listened oh, to it. Uh, but the first, yeah, that's no. from the first EP. Uh, it's very good. It's a very strange song. But it's, I, I don't know. I've been listening to it a fuck ton lately. That and Beyond the Realms of Death by Judas Priest, because it's fucking amazing. <laughs> I'll just I'll just go by what I've been listening to a lot lately. I've been I've been listening to a lot of fucking <laughs> shut shut the fuck up. I've been listening <laughs> to <laughs> Nah nah fucking I've been listening to to Pimp a Butterfly nonstop. But uh, fucking the these walls. I was on the spot, you can't do this to me. <laughs> we have, have zero respect left for you. Thanks. Louis. Appreciate it. Thanks. Right. Fuck you. No, Louis. Louis. Oh. <laughs> David, your favorite song of all time or the decade? All time. Oh. Um. If I was to pick from the Pompoko album, would that be rude? <laughs> it wouldn't be rude. It would be surprising. <laughs> it's just... Crazy energy night. Crazy energy night, yeah. My work is full of art. Right. Hold on, no, but there's definitely a better song out there than that. <laughs> That's what's... Fuck, no, that one, yeah, fuck you. No, stop, maybe stop typing, we're doing a podcast, we're supposed to be using voices. <laughs> Sorry, what? We don't need the sound of you smashing your fucking keyboard on the podcast. Sorry, I'll... Sorry, I'll punch my keyboard. Okay, what? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I famous, my famous prophets instead. by uh, Carsey. Oh. Okay, okay. What, the lost prophets, the guy with the famous, famous prophets, the main singer. My no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ! Right. <laughs> we can't say anything like that, that, that on the podcast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do you not support? Got... <laughs> okay. Michal, you're gonna have to do some serious editing. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to fire Louis after this one. <laughs> It won't I'll happen again. Okay, concert, moving, moving on to like, moving on to the next topic. Like, what concerts have we been to? No, oh, like three. No. <laughs> I think I've been to five. The only I've stadium got, I've gone to for anything was a West Ham versus Cork City friendly in like 2009. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gone to anything else. No concerts at all. No. Oh, you need. Um, we're trying to we're trying to go to Black Midi, but I can't buy the fucking tickets. <laughs> You're so poor. Uh. It's not my... No, it's not that. <laughs> whenever I search for them on the website, like, whenever I search for them on Ticketmaster, I can't fucking find them at all. Ticketmaster, you use Amazon. I've been to five. I can, I can list them all. List them, boy. All right, go ahead. Uh, Carsey Headdress. That was, that was my first concert in May uh, 2018. And I went to... Loving it. Oh, I fucking was... <laughs> uh, David was my, David was with me there. That was that was uh, a good night. It was beautiful. It was Except, our first kiss. Remember, we had to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> remember, oh, remember so we had to leave. We and as we bad. as we were leaving, they started fucking playing Beach Life and Death. Yeah, fuck them. We had to oh, get a bad. Yeah, um, Claro. I went to Claro. I went to see Mac DeMarco. Went to see Slow Tie. Went to see Girl you in Red and met like all of them, you bastard. Yeah, I met I met yeah, Slow Tie. Yeah, you met fucking piece. Slow Tie, and, and, and I met Mac DeMarco as well. And Mac DeMarco as well. And then yeah. we walked past. Remember, David, we walked past all the fucking car seat headrest. Yeah. Didn't you I, say I, like yeah, when you Temple met Mark. Mac? De, 
You were saying to me when you met Mac DeMarco, he was like pissed out of his head or something like that, wasn't he? No, he was at a pub. Yeah, well, I thought yeah, you said he was he was head, drunk. Yeah. I thought you said he was I don't drunk. think he was drunk. Oh, I thought you said he was. He was. It was well, outside a pub. pub right? I mean, what else are you supposed well, to do in a pub? Uh, communicate with your fellow human beings in a non-violent, non-drunk manner. Like Fair a enough. good boy. Well, I think it was it was like an hour after a concert. He he was already drinking on stage. I I, be, I wouldn't. Uh, I've, I've heard about his concerts. And then I have tickets um, for Brockhampton, and I have tickets for Black Midi. Question, you bastard. <laughs> this is a bit off topic, but you're bringing up drinking on stage and all this. Who's who's your biggest role model musically? Like, oh, Jesus. who who would, would you say you aspire as the most towards? I guess. Uh, I well, don't know. Can they be um, like half YouTuber, half music people? I mean, yeah. If you say Anthony Fantano, I'm gonna. Fuck no. <laughs> If you say, if you say the, alter the melons present. Oh, a nostalgia critic. <laughs> nostalgia critics the wall. Dick album, album of the year, nostalgia critics the wall. Uh, no. Um, there's YouTuber um, and he does like sort of guitar, like instructional videos, but then also releases fucking really good music. His name's Ben Levin. Ben Levin. He, like that's just kind of like where I'm aiming with. Like playing guitar, but also like making and recording music and stuff, and he's just super fucking nice. cool. But also nice. like the Very level nice. of fame of like Will Toledo or something, maybe. Yeah, I'd, Will Toledo music wise, I don't know. I'm not really. You know, his real name is Will Barnes. Music. Just, just a little, little fact, like. It's very wholesome. Uh, what about you, Michael? I I don't know. I don't really have an answer to that question. Well, fuck. Yeah, that's a, that's a confusing <laughs> question. Fucking nice, dude. Fucking let oh, me no. do. Hold on one sec. I'm going to do a roulette. First person that comes into the fucking wheel of death or whatever the fuck. Wheel of death. Watch <laughs> out. You'll spin somebody and they'll die the next day. And we'll... Oh, well. Well, your boy Juice World. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, you, can, you can edit that out. No, you can't. I won't. Never. Don't. Bitch. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Actually, no, no, no. I have one now. Fucking Tyler, the creator. Mm. All right. Okay. You want to be gear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, very. <laughs> no, but in reality, though, you got to respect, like, the artistic fucking evolution that he had, especially yeah. since, like... Like, come on. He's also flower, fucking flower? sick at skateboarding. Ever seen him skate? <laughs> yeah, he's so, he's so good at skateboarding. <laughs> fucking... Nah, but, like... Flower Boy and Igor are fucking great albums. And like, think about it this way. The guy who made fucking Cherry Bomb and Goblin made fucking Flower Boy and Igor. Just never, remember, <laughs> never forget this. the people that made Pablo Honey also, uh, you know, Hail to the Thief. So there's hope for anyone, really. Let's be, let's yeah. be frank. Yeah, like Ty- Tyler is one of a kind. I, I respect him on a whole other level. You see, lads, you got some fairly conservative picks there. But uh, I'd have to say my role model in music is definitely gg allen uh oh, fuck oh, oh, jesus <laughs> christ <laughs> i totally 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 want if i ever get near a stage i mean let's just say it's it's gonna be a, the revival <laughs> do you wanna <laughs> someday we're going to gg allen's <laughs> grave and we're gonna have a slash on it yeah sounds like a great idea didn't they like like get loads of people go to gg allen's grave just to piss about yeah. on it like I think fucking... if I remember rightly, there's a cage around it now to stop it. Yeah, I think they caged it. it. So, bastards. Yeah. What do you mean, bastards? I mean, I want oh, to go piss on Gigi Allen's grave, dude. I can imagine he wanted it, to be fair. It's probably in some fucking shithole village in fucking the American is. Midwest. We're not going to go there see, anyway. I, you see, no, I, I relate to Gigi Allen on the spiritual level. See, I was also known as Jesus Christ. Uh, that was my name. Jesus Christ, Alan. My, my parent, my parent father was a very religious man and would constantly beat me. And uh, and now I'm here. I, I'm a warrior spirit, just as Gigi would have said. He fucking died covered in his own shit, and that, that's yeah, that's your <laughs> rock star life, baby. Like a fucking natural, like a pro. I ought to be like that. You're there to fucking pick random girls out of the crowd, and you yeah, know. Could, okay. Fucking hell. That's what he did, sure. 
I know, but could you imagine? <laughs> uh, could you imagine? Like you wake up one morning and your child's like, Dad, Dad, I want to be like Gigi Arwin. Like, what? <laughs> what's your response to that? No, it's just like an <laughs> absolute boomer who doesn't know who Gigi Allen is. Oh yeah, kid, that's good. That's great. Who who is this Gigi Allen? For? Oh my god. Yeah, you can imagine a boomer then locking his kid in his room for ten weeks. Like how potentially, you... potentially. <laughs> um, looking, uh, um, we never. You, I, I actually never one more got question. Cunt. I never got first. First thing, I, I never got to say. I, I went to see Black Sabbath live. No. Nope. Yeah, no, no one cares, mate. No one cares. We, we, <laughs> we, we, you skip that section. Don't give me that shit. Unlucky, mate. Yeah, whatever. You haven't been to a concert. <laughs> I can. Yeah. Um, I'd say one last question before we maybe wrap this up. Okay. Yeah. If you can yeah, have yeah. Go ahead. The singing voice of any singer you could possibly. Ha- uh, I I phrase this terribly. Um. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I guess. Voice of voice of anything... Yeah, okay. yeah. Thanks, thanks. My brain had a bit of an autism there. Yeah, sound vulgar display of autism. Don't forget that. Tasha. Uh, fucking James Hetfield. Okay. Fair enough. Um, maybe G- Jeff Buckley. Jeff. Jeff. Maybe uh, is Freddie Mercury a cop out answer? Not. No. Really? It's fucking Freddie Mercury. It, sure, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. It's not really a cop out answer. It's uh, Freddie Mercury for fuck's yeah. sake. Yeah, it's but it's out, such probably. an easy answer. Yeah, Not obviously. Me. Yeah, I will say Maybe like, Tommy York too. Tommy York. Tommy York's oh, got yeah. some sweet falsettos. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably be, take. I take the voice of Rob Halford. How the fuck, Rob Halford, Judas Priest, because his voice is fucking mental. And no one else could really do it at the time or even now. It's just so unique to him. It's ridiculous. All right. David? David? Um, what was like Billy Corgan's voice? It's kind of cool and unique. Wee. Yeah. <laughs> just, it was from that. Yeah, him, <laughs> He's just fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt Cobain as well. Yeah. yeah. He is. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe Col- Cobain. Col- Cobain. Col- 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 Cobain. 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 I, I, I don't know. Whatever. Any, anything maybe else Marcy. before we end it? Marcy, dude. Um, Pablo Honey yeah. best album. Um, I, I knew you'd say that, and I was just Corey about Man. to say it. <laughs> Co- Corey Feldman, Angelic to the Core, greatest mm. album ever made. Cult Babies. Lulu Best Metallica Album. Ah, oh, okay, <laughs> fuck, fuck you. What's, fuck what's, you. That, I think this is... what's that Metallica album with Lou Reed on it? They did like a fucking... Yeah, Lulu, Lulu. that was Lulu. Yeah, oh my fucking, fucking god, it's that album. Yeah, that deserves to be hung by your intros. Jesus. It's so bad. So, should we wrap it up? Yeah. We'll wrap it up okay. there, I suppose. Stay tuned. Like, next music. Week, uh, our Radiohead Worst the Best. Yeah, that'll be class. Yeah. I need to start. Ah! Now. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that it? Alright, come here. Is it over? How are we done? Yeah, it's over. Okay. No. Uh, okay, wait, wait, okay. Well... <laughs> okay, see you all the fuck was next week. Okay, thanks. Thanks so Bye. much for tuning in. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Cheers. Very well.